When someone lights a cigarette, it looks actually fairly pleasant. And many of us live under the illusion that when the smoke has disappeared, it has been dissolved into thin air and we forget about it. Tobacco smoke doesn't disappear at all. It actually becomes embedded in furniture, clothes, plates, everything and anything that they come in contact with. And over time, these compounds really add up. Dr. Georg Mart is a professor and current chair of the Department of Psychology and is founder of the Third Hand Smoke Resource Center, where his team pioneers new studies on tobacco smoke residue and its health effects. In one of our recent studies, we examined 220 apartments here in San Diego County. At every home visit, there will be two research assistants. One conducts the interview, the other is the environmental technician. We collect surface samples, dust samples, and wipe samples. We found tobacco residue in each and every of these apartments. There is a substantial proportion where the levels of certain smoke residue was as high as you would find in a home of an active smoker. She notices that it comes in through this vent here and people downstairs smoke and then it gets distributed across the entire apartment building. Dr. Matt is a very lighthearted man. He's very approachable, very kind. What I like best about working in this lab is finding different ways of reaching people and educating them about their hand smoke and how it affects them personally. Contributing to the greater good, it's all worth it. <laughs> Dr. Mas's research approach is very creative. He's pursuing multidisciplinary, interdisciplinary research. And he's looking for the new solution to a challenging question. Well, in today's Health Edge Now, you've heard of secondhand smoke before, right? But what about thirdhand smoke? We now have a lot of hotels that have gone completely smoke-free. We now have legislation in California that prohibits smoking in family childcare homes. But there is a lot more to be done, because at the end of the day, tobacco smoke is the result of a behavior. And solutions to this behavior requires really this multidisciplinary team to put research in action.